everybody. So today I wanted to share with you my April favorites. I cannot believe how fast April went. It was such a great month for me, but it just flew by. So I wanted to share with you some of the things that I've been loving for this month. And yeah, I hope you enjoy. So starting off, I have been loving this Tarte Blush in Dollface. And it is just a baby pink. It's a mostly matte blush. There's a tiny bit of a sheen to it. Let me see. You can see. And yeah, it's just great to, you know, make your face look a little bit more awake. And it's a great spring color. I have it on today. I use it really subtly because you can overuse this blush and make it look like too clown-like. But I have been loving this. And Tarte is an all-natural makeup brand, so that is amazing. I have also been loving this Rimmel uh, True Match Perfection Foundation. I'm in the color 130 True Ivory. And this is a great lightweight foundation for everyday use, going to work, running errands. It does help illuminate your skin and give it kind of a dewy look, uh, but I love it. It goes on really smooth. Um, the coverage is nice. It's not full coverage, but it's enough coverage to, you know, to be worth it. <laughs> also, in the same lines as foundation, I have been loving this Physician's Formula Healthy Wear SPF 50. That's 50 uh, powder foundation. This is in the color Translucent Light. I actually use this as a setting powder, uh, so I don't use it as an actual foundation. You can see how light it is. And so after I put on my foundation, I just dust this over my face for added sunscreen. So that is great. I've also been loving this nail polish by Wet n Wild. It's Sophisticated Lady from their spring collection. And as you can see, it's like a silvery pink color. And this is just a great color uh, to put on when you want something quick. It applies very nicely. It's not streaky at all. One coat will add some extra oomph. Two coats will really make your uh, nails shine. I have this on my toes right now, and I love that the pink uh, undertone of this makes your skin look a little bit more bronze and uh, tan, so it's perfect for the spring and for the summer. Moving on to skincare items. I have been loving this Caudalier Divine Oil. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. I got this little sample size at Sephora for I think $9. And this is great. I just wanted to try it first before I committed to a big size. Um, and I've been using a lot of it and you can see I've only you know, gone down to there because a little goes a long way. This is for face, body, and hair. So I put this in the ends of my hair uh, just to help protect them. I put this on my face after using a mask because uh, I was having a breakout, so I used a mint julep mask, and that can kind of strip your face of oils. So this is great to put just a little bit on your face to bring back the moisture. But it smells amazing, so I love this. I've also been loving the 7th Generation um, Serum. This is a free radical and an uh a protecting serum against like pollution and uh, things out in the world. So every day after a moisturizer, I put one pump of this on my face before foundation <clears throat> or before primer. And I find it really helps smooth out my skin. It's really been helping with the texture. And yeah, so I'm gonna keep using this and I'll you know update on you if I think that it's really helping with like free radicals or if it's making any type of anti-aging <laughs> effect. Uh, moving on to lip products, I have an oldie but a goodie. This is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter. Um, this is just their cocoa butter like chapstick, but you can also use it for hands or elbows. I only use this for my lips because I think you shouldn't put something on your lips and then also on your elbows and your hands. But this is great, just a general moisturizer. I love the Palmer's whole line. They don't test on animals. All of their ingredients are, um, are pretty straightforward. There's not a lot of chemicals in them. And yeah, you can't go wrong. Then the, uh, the two lip products that I have been obsessed with and almost exclusively using this whole month have been these Milani HD Lip Colors. This is in Ignition 113, which is like a corally red color. And I'll swatch for you. So see there? And as you can see, they're really like have a balm, they're a balmy consistency. So you could wear them really sheer or you can build up the color. Today I have on the 112 Vivacious Fuchsia. And while it's a fuchsia color, it's kind of more on the pinky side. So it's not like that wet and wild fuchsia color that I showed uh, in one of my last videos. So you can see that they're really moisturizing. Um, they are great, they last a pretty long time. 
and you, these look really good also with a gloss on top. I know sometimes if I want to wear the Vivacious Fuchsia, but I don't want it to be as bright, I'll put like um, a semi-nude or a light pink gloss on top, and it looks really pretty. So I've been obsessed with these. These have not left my handbag all month. Uh, in kind of an accessory favorite I have are these kind of Wayfarer sunglasses from Target. And this is what they look like. <laughs> uh, and they have this kind of polka dot like pop art side to them. These were super cheap and I think they're really cute. I just keep these in my car mostly. I took them out of my car for this video. But I keep these usually in my car so I always have a pair of sunglasses there and I don't have to worry about breaking some of the sunglasses that I've spent like a tiny bit more money on. I don't spend a lot of money on sunglasses because I break them, lose them. So yeah. But these are great to just keep in your car and I think they are really cute looking. So, been loving those. Then, lastly, I have a few like healthcare food items. I have been obsessed with Quest Nutrition Bars. This one is in white chocolate raspberry. I haven't tried this one. A friend sent this one to me, but I'm going to try this soon. I have tried the cookie dough, the cookies and cream, uh, a regular chocolate one, I think a peanut butter one. They are so good. If you heat them up in the microwave for like 20 seconds, maybe 30 seconds, depending on your microwave, or some people broil them in the oven, oh my gosh, they taste like a decadent cake and they're a protein bar. So it is amazing. Quest Nutrition also has a YouTube channel where they give recipes about different ways you can make desserts with their nutrition bars. So I'll link that down below. It's really cool. Uh, the other healthcare item I've been loving are the Box Rescue Remedy in these little like gummies. Have you guys seen that? Yeah, so they're like little chewable gummies. And this is an all-natural formula of flowers. It has um, a bunch of different... It has Well, this one is a black currant flavor. So it has like chamomile. Um, I cannot say some of these flower names, but I'll leave them down below. I don't want to embarrass myself because it's like the scientific name. But I got these at Whole Foods. And what this is is an all-natural stress remedy. So if you are having a really busy day, you're doing a lot of stuff, and you come home and you try to sleep, it's really hard to let your mind unwind. So if you chew one of these uh, whenever you're feeling really stressed, then it'll help you relax. And since it's all natural, it doesn't interact with any other medications or, um, or have any bad side effects at all. I've used these and also my husband has and I've had a really, really good, um, really good effect. So I'll leave links for where you can get all of these things down below. And yeah, those are my monthly favorites for April. Uh, now for the exciting part, I have a little giveaway for you. I know a lot of people don't do giveaways until they have hundreds or thousands of subscribers, but I'm just so grateful for the people who are watching my videos and people who support me uh, through Twitter, through my blog, and especially the Tone It Up girls on my Instagram. They're such a great community, and I know that not everyone has a YouTube account to subscribe, so some people just watch, you know, casually. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to kind of spread some good vibes and um, kind of give back to the people who've been so kind to me by giving, you know, a small giveaway. So. The things I have are the two Milani lipsticks that I have been loving. I think these are great colors for spring, and when you wear them, you just feel a little bit better because, you know, you have a bright lipstick on and a reason to smile. Um, not your only reason to smile, but you know what I mean. And then I also wanted to gift the sunglasses. You know, keep these in your car, and I just think they're really cute. They're just really cute, and I just wanted to... Um, to share these things. You know, when I saw them, I thought, oh my gosh, I like these things so much. I want someone else to enjoy them too. So if you're interested in the giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel and make sure that your your YouTube account, you can, like the privacy setting is that I can see you're subscribed and leave a comment below just telling me one thing you're grateful for. And yeah, that's the easiest way to enter. Unfortunately, I have to limit the giveaway to Canada and the US right now, but I really hope that in future giveaways, I can open it up to the rest of the world. So yeah, if you're interested, then please enter the giveaway. I'm going to leave it open for one week. So next Friday, which I believe will be the 9th or 10th, of May. Uh, I'll leave it down below as well. That's when it will close at midnight Eastern Standard Time. And then I'll choose someone through, um, there's a random generator that I'll use. And then on Saturday, I will post on my Twitter, I'll post on Instagram, and on my blog, and on this channel, who has won. And then I'll ship it out on Monday. 
So if you're interested, please join the giveaway. Thank you again so much for watching. It means the world to me. And I hope that you have a really great weekend. Bye.